Hello YouTube. This is George from the GM Home Movies channel. And today's story is about rafter tails. And that's what these things are. Uh, these are actually faux rafter tails. Uh, but more on that in a bit. Um, first, let me give you some background. Um, my wife Martha and I, we've traveled to Germany a couple times. Uh, we've been to Bavaria, uh, Switzerland, the Swiss Alps. Uh, and we just fell in love with the uh, with the the little villages, the Alpine villages and the Alpine uh, architecture. So um, over the years, little bit by little bit, uh, we've been transforming our 1980s rancher into a uh, to resemble an Alpine chalet. For example, when it was time to replace our roof a few years ago, uh, we replaced it using these terracotta colored roofing tiles and it resembles the red roofs that are in a lot of European houses. Also a few years ago we needed to replace the siding because the, uh, the original cedar siding was just worn out. Uh, so we decided to go with uh, the stucco um, on the uh, on some parts and then this, this rustic engineered wood siding uh, again to uh, resemble an alpine chalet. Um, then I built these little window balconies. Uh, you've got one there and another one here and Martha put the, the flower boxes on them. Um, so these I designed the balusters uh, but there was a little one-man sawmill shop in York, Pennsylvania that used a laser cutter to, uh, to cut the, the patterns into the wood. Uh, and then I brought them back home and, and assembled them and, and, and installed it. Here we have our Huffbrow House post lamp, which uh, recently took a hit in a storm, but I managed to, to put it back together. Also, when we replaced the siding, we installed this, uh, this blue um, fascia trim. Again, that's to resemble what we saw in, in Germany and Switzerland. Um, over here we have uh, our beer garden. Uh, Martha and I built this oh, probably five years ago. And um, so we got, got some beer garden um, umbrellas and uh, spot and beer lamps. They're very nice. Uh, there's our puppy Sammy and we got some more of the railings here. But now back to these rafter tails. So uh, many of the, the little houses we saw in, in Bavaria and Switzerland and the Alps um, have the, the ends of their rafters exposed uh, and that's where the term rafter tails came from. Um, I can't do that with our roof here so I built these these faux rafter tails right there. Um, we had three dead eastern white or no eastern red cedar trees in our backyard. So um, I cut them down, cut them into I think it was six foot lengths and took the wood to a local sawmill and uh, the gentleman there cut them up into uh, into this into these dimensions. Um, I then brought them home and, and cut the angles because I was very specific about the uh, the angles, I forget what it was, but it's, it's to match the roof line. Um, <clears throat> and then I put several coats of uh, Sherwin-William paint on them. Um, but what has happened is because uh, they're not they're not kiln drying and they're not pressure treated, uh, the wood has shrunk over the years, and uh, they're starting to lift away from the uh, from the soffit. Um, so today, my job is to uh, is to tighten up all the bolts and snug them back up and uh, make them look good as new.
right, so that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.